Hello everyone. I am in my bed here under the covers because it is so very cold out. So I want to stay warm. Okay. So I wanted to tell you about a very interesting evening I had. <laughs> yes, it was so interesting. So um, I was at another um, tarot card event. So very interesting, very, very interesting. And there were there were several things that happened. Uh, for one, sitting down in the chairs for such a long time, it just I just get in so much pain. Like like right up in here, like mostly like right up in my uh, neck area, right in here, this muscle, and towards like my my back and my shoulders and all that. It just it doesn't hurt right right away. It takes a little bit, but it's like sitting down in those uncomfortable chairs for a bit, and it's like, oh, and then everything just feels like inflamed, and it's, ugh, you know. And and the products that I take um, have dramatically reduced that because that used to happen even when I wasn't in sitting in in, in something that was uncomfortable. It was like just all the time. It was just hurting. So even just managing my, my stress and my anxiety helps because I noticed like on, on days that I feel very, very stressed out that my body is just, is just killing me so bad. So all of that needs to be in check. So I was having these problems and we we're taking a quick break and I was like, you know, getting up and stretching and, and, and all this stuff. And, you know, this, this person approached me and they were asking me like kind of what what the problem was and it was like all tense and everything and and they they suggested um you know it's like uh did you want to do uh some reiki so it's like you know i'm not too familiar with that i mean i i understand kind of the general concept it's something that um I think I practice to a, a smaller degree, but it's something I would like to learn more of because I think I would be very, very good at it because of kind of my my natural ability to kind of m manipulate um, the energy and everything. I think that would be something that I would be very good at. So she mentioned the, 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 the person mentions that and... You know, then I, I um, have to go up against the wall, and the woman is, is, is like pressing right in this area, and she's telling me to just kind of like breathe or something, and I, f I forget exactly all of the different steps, but it was like, it's also like a breathe through the forehead and kind of release some of that, and it's not, it's not like you're not... She wasn't saying to like actively focus on the pain or anything. It was just kind of like a breathing thing to focus on a specific spot and then kind of r release it. And let me tell you, tell you this, okay? I felt so much better right after that. I was like so amazed and I was so thankful. I'm like, oh, th thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I sat back down in that uncomfortable chair for like another hour and a half. No pain. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was just incredible. Because it was like I had so much pain sitting in an uncomfortable chair for like the first hour. The first half hour was probably okay. But then the second half hour just started getting bad. And then after that, I didn't have any pain for the next hour and a half. I'm still home. I, I you know, hours later now, I'm still feeling good. Still feeling amazing. And I think just just with um, with that, you know, lessening stress, focusing on breathing, um, being conscious of like your posture, as well as uh, the various uh, supplements that I take that help inflammation. I mean, that is just it was just so amazing because it's like I've never 
I've never felt anything that was like so so fast. I mean, it was like, it was like immediate. It's like, oh my gosh, I was <laughs> I was just incredibly amazed. So that was that was absolutely incredible. I'm so just like blown blown away. Most of this because it's like, uh, like I was expecting the pain to come back after I sat back down for a little bit, but it didn't. And when I did start to feel a little bit tense, I just kind of brought my my focus to my breath. Like, okay, just breathe out any of this kind of tension that's that's starting to build because I don't I don't need it. So yeah, amazing. Another other thing also there is during the tarot card session, it's um, focus on a specific point, a specific goal, a specific, um, what's the term I'm looking for, um, intention. So always have an intention because it's like you get so much more knowledge out of it if you have an intention, you get so much more insight. So I had the intention. I'm not gonna tell you what the intention was because it's more of a secret thing. So yeah. So that's kind of like I wanted some more clarity, and I think it was kind of telling me it was a very positive reading of the the uh, tarot, and I think it was really telling me to. Just continue on with my beliefs, continue on with, with my goals, but don't, don't, you know, have like this picture perfect idea in your mind because there's not going to be such a thing as picture perfect, but what's going to actually happen is something that's much better. And it's something that could have imperfections, but that's what makes it better. So... That was kind of what it was showing me. It's like, okay, so I I don't need to lose hope with it. I don't need to worry about, you know, forcing any of that. I don't need to worry about it being perfect because it's not going to be perfect. But I was also kind of like, well, what, what am I waiting around for? And that's kind of where I am at in my life right now to uh, meet new people and, and go to, and, and, and be more like socially active which I have been, I think that's, it's kind of telling me that this is, this is the right direction to go in order to achieve this ideal, um, lifestyle and ideal set of, of, um, skills that I, that I wish to acquire is to continue on doing these things. So I am on the right path with that. And I know that I am. And then the third thing was I, uh, met a, f a friend there. I mean, you know, just a new friend, just kind of, again, just kind of demonstrating to you that ability to, you know, just meet new people, meet, talk with new people, connect with people, and just form a friendship with people. So again, that kind of all pertained to that. So we were just talking for a bit. We, um, We've been uh, texting a little bit, so I think we're gonna, you know, probably meet up at some point, and we're we will see where that where that friendship, where that friendship goes, and kind of see where it goes from there. Which is, I just I just think back two years ago when I was like, uh, I'm not gonna give out my phone number to you. We're gonna do this and that, and that's not how I always was. Like that started. Like I remember, like in two thousand. Like, like right after I transitioned, I was like, I went to these, these transgender related groups and there were a bunch of people, um, it was an LGBT group, the, the one group, it was a bunch of like college kids. Um, yeah, well, yeah, m most of them were some, some people were a little bit older, but they were all around my age. And... I, I made a few friends there, just like immediate, you know, it, it just, it used to be something that was much easier for me, but then it just kind of stopped once I kind of stopped socializing and it's like, I didn't know how to do it anymore. And it's like, those skills are still there. It's like, but, you know, I, it's just, I don't know, I don't know. It, it's, I guess it's just because I don't really go out too much because 
honestly, it has to be like the right environment because when people think of going out, I mean, what's the first thing that pops into your head? Depending on what your definition of going out somewhere and whatever place you decide to go to, that that's prob- that could not be a place necessarily that I would enjoy. So it's about going to a place that I would enjoy to meet the right kind of people. Because the kind of people that I would meet at certain places and certain events aren't the kind of people that I want to connect with. So I need to go to the events that I would be willing to meet people. So it's kind of like putting yourself in the situation where where you want to meet people that are of similar interest to you. Because it's like, if you dis dislike, you know, going, like, here's like the classic example, like meeting people at like a bar. I mean, it's like, if you, if you despise bars and all that and all the people there, why would you want to go there to meet someone? <laughs> it's just dumb. So I mean that that's not a place f- for for me. It's not that's not the kind of person that I wish to connect with and add on on any means. So I don't go there to meet people. I go there to get super drunk. No, I'm just <laughs> joking. I don't do that at all. But you know, it's about where where your place is that you want to go and meet people. So um, with that, I think I'm going to to end this video. I. Um, what else is new? Um, my thing is, I've been working on my computer, my new computer. Um, got a lot of things, um, installed on it, so I'm getting closer to it being ready to, uh, fully replace my desktop computer. There's still quite a, quite a few things left, left to go. So, I want to do a live stream in January for the first time. So, that's going to be something to kind of set up and figure out how to do. And then I'll be able to talk talk with all of you. Not like video, but um, you'd be like, it'd be like a text um, thing in the... Like, you, you can like leave like real-time questions for me and I answer them and this and that. So, we'll see how that goes next next month. So... I wish you all a wonderful day and night. <laughs> That's my classic line to end it. <laughs> uh, I have I like multiple classic classic lines like, hi everyone. <laughs> or what, what do I say here? I said, hello everyone. Or, <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm just getting off track. So I'm just going to end it now. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.